Uh, things went from pretty desperate to good to terrible. And yeah, look at all that gas. That C virus gas. Yeah, you want to help, but can you help? <laughs> Dang, dude, look at all that gas. Oh. I never noticed that there. So. If you obviously go through the sea virus gas, you're done because you'll turn to a zombie. So I'm going to pull out my pistols. This is the final chapter in Leon's campaign, chapter 5, and this is where the climax hits. You want to go up here and just follow the square. How much room do I have? Fudge! I at least want to get that red herb in the back. Alright, there's this red herb. What am I gonna get rid of? Uh, duh! What the? F no, 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 hurry, 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 hurry. Fuck, this gas is gonna come in and it's gonna hurt. Alright, this gas. No, 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 no. Because there's gonna be zombies that are gonna come in too. And you do not want them to just. You don't wanna stay too long. Fuck, Helena. Oh! Goodness. No, you don't. Ugh. This hallway is going to be the main focus of the first part of this campaign. Nice. There's going to be a lot of enemies, and they are going to be super duper aggressive. No, you don't. And they're all going to flood in. All these zombies are going to flood in, and they are going to prove to be a fat nuisance. And thankfully... And a, nothing a shotgun blast won't fit. What? Really? Shot it! Ugh! No, definitely not. Ooh, Magnum Board! Yeah, if you want to take, if you think you're feeling lucky, pull out your shotgun and start blowing heads off. You might actually be surprised at how much ammo these guys can drop. You roll out of the way. Yeah, you don't want to take risks with these zombies. Move out of the way. Alright. I've had my fun. I just saw the B button. Roger. Okay. I've had my fun. No. <laughs> when I meant main focus, I meant that's the place we're going to be staying in the longest. Oh, that poor guy decided to stay back there and sacrifice himself. Pull these out. One. Dang. One, two. Now we gotta get in the car. And now we just. We just scroll around in the car. I wish I could skip this because this is kind of boring. Seriously sucks. I'll tell you my overall feelings based on this. I'll tell you my overall feelings of this campaign when I'm done playing it all together. Formulating thoughts right now. Ooh, those people getting run over. That guy back there. Damn. 
That really is sad. I mean, Leon's campaign does focus on the survival horror genre. Goes back to the roots of the series, kind of. Kind of. Obviously, there's going to be zombies that are going to be appearing behind us, but you don't actually want to give them a chance to appear. You just want to use the commands to get the fuck out. <laughs> That's what you want to do. Well, duh, commanding your partner is really useful for those idiots online. You're playing online and you're playing against someone who's inexperienced, you know. Just give them certain commands. Just that quickly. <laughs> wow. And then at this point, nice. That was really good. So this helicopter is sh not shooting at us, but at the zombies. Yeah, so what you can do is you can kill the zombies back there if you want, but I'm just going to roll through here because I don't want to use my ammo. I'm fine with how much ammo I got now. I don't want to burn any more on no-hope difficulty. I w you want to save as many bullets as you can for the boss. Yeah, didn't make it. Dead. Roll through here. In the prelude, you actually have to help Helena. Just gonna knife him, and then just... Yeah. Good night. Alright, I'm just gonna kick you. I just knifed you, dude. What the hell? Still not dead. Now you should be dead. Alright, good. A remote bomb. There should be an herb in here, too. Um, I have a little too many of these. You want instant air grenades, though. Don't get me wrong. You want them. Um, um I'm going to save my magnum bullets, too. Trust me, there's a part of the boss that you want to shoot with a magnum. It'll make it easier. All these zombies, yada, yada, yada. Just toss that bad boy, soften them up, and then just air them out. That's like the best thing you can do in this part. Nice. Nice. Oh, wow, really? Uh, hmm, there we go. No biggie. Easy peasy, right? Oh, that's right, another B button. Keeps your party members from, it keeps the players from separating for too long. There's a lot of those on this game, too. Just like from the prelude, there's that <laughs> that airplane, and now we got to jump down, and a bunch of zombies. So now we've got to just clear the way somewhat. All right, I feel like using my shotgun because the shotgun's really good for just knocking the zombies down and just putting them in their place. There we go. Oh, I'm a... 
And then this guy just, you know, opens the way for us. So now we take the opportunity. Let me reload my gun. There we go. And so my pistols, my wing shooters, and let's go. And then this happens. <laughs> yeah. It shouldn't take you that long to say run, Leon. You should already be running. Yeah. <laughs> don't want to hold A and down now, you want to hold A and you want to hold forward on the analog stick. If you let go of the analog stick, you're likely going to die. Simple cross here. And there you go, and there's a zombie on you. Get off! Go hit your ride somewhere else. <laughs> and we're up here that fast. We're flying, we're flying, we're flying. We're all good, we're all good. And then that happens. Really? Isn't that something else? Thankfully, these quick time events, okay, I have mixed feelings about quick time events in Leon's campaign. Some of them are brutally punishing and require a tight timing, like when Derek C. Simmons tries to swipe you with his claw on the, the second phase in Chapter 4. I think that's brutally punishing, and I think just some of the quick time events in this game are just brutally punishing, while others are really good. And it's just weird. Dang. Wow, really? Get out. <laughs> Uh-oh. See, like, they're slow, and you don't have to wiggle the analog stick a lot. So these quick time events are actually... They submerge you more in and into the atmosphere instead of punishing you for not reacting quick enough, because they're slow and they're easy to do. And it doesn't take a lot of effort. So, the quick time event doesn't come in and doesn't come off as punishing. Like, it comes in and then gives you time to react. So, it's not punishing you for not paying attention. It's just saying, alright, we're going to give you a lot of time to react. And when you do react, there won't be a lot of effort. I like what Capcom did. With those previous quick time events. And like this one right here, you know, it gives you a lot of time to react. So, it's not difficult, it's not punishing, and it's able to catch your attention, which is something I like. Something that I like. Right. Anything else? Alright, I'm maxed out. Anything I need to throw away? Nah, we're fine. Roger. Yep, another one of these. And then we go here. <laughs> wow. And subtle foreshadowing is not so subtly obvious. Of course it doesn't feel right, Helena. <laughs> we have a boss coming up. It's one of the best in the series. Whew. I'll just stay quiet. Oh, no. 
Definitely. <laughs> no one will miss you at all. Well said, Leon. Well said. Now, he, he mutates. Look how big that thing is. Now, you want to go like that when you roar, so you won't be stunned and you can react and you can get up and move around faster. That's roll number one. Now... I know he looks all big and slow in this phase, but Derek C. Simmons can have some unexpectedly acrobatic maneuvers in this form. So when he's obviously stunned like this, you want to go up to him. Wham. I'm going to use some shotgun bullets. And then get some action going. There we go. Uh, I'll reload my shotgun. If I'm full on ammo, I'm going to do my best not to use a lot of it. See? <laughs> you get the timing of it down. Now, he can actually lock these vehicles at you. And these vehicles do a lot of damage. Actually, they're like instant death. And, like, if you're behind one of the buses, he can just knock the bus over. Oh, that was a fail. I might actually die. Nope, he didn't knock it over fast enough. So now what you want to do is you want to get behind one of these and you want to lure him over next to one. That's what you want to do. That's the main strategy here. His weak points are his eyes on his back. Alright, he's over here. Anything over there? Nope. I'm just going to stay behind one of these. I'm not sure if he's close enough, but I'm not going to shoot it just yet. Now I'm going to shoot it. Alright. Yeah, those flame, those flame canisters make this fight easier. Much easier. You want to be abuse them as much as you can. So this part's just... It's, it's, it's an excuse to give you a checkpoint, basically. So right through, there's a fire. You're supposed to shoot the eye or something, you know. Alright. Tries to buy it, but he misses. He looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex in this phase. And that's why I like the creativity is really good. Got him. If you're not quick enough, he will grab the car and he will just toss it around like a ragdoll. Honestly, though, this is one cool mutation. Like, the level of creativity that was shown here was pretty respectable. I respect it. And then that happened. He's <laughs> dead. Now we fight him alone. Just three of us. Just Ada. Leon and Hel Helena. Yeah. This fight is not easy. Not easy. So I'm gonna lure him into the middle. Alright. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna do us all a favor and burn some ammo. Now I gotta run away. Alright. Yeah, if you just lay on your back, you'll be saved from stun. Alright, while he's not looking, ammo. Make sure you keep your eye on him, though, because he can close the distance really quickly. 
Um. Oh, see, you want to be careful of that. Of him just tossing cars around like that, because they are instant kill. And that's what makes this fight so challenging. Is he has plenty of ways he can just destroy you relatively easy, very easily. And you don't really have a lot of ways to damage him. Reliably. Well, that could have gone bad, but now I'm just going to use that. <laughs> so, yeah, so let's just make this short and sweet. Alright. Tack on the icing on the cake. Cash out my damage. <clears throat> Reload my gun. Get some distance. Slide. Oh, he caught me. Um. Let's get rid of that. To get one of these. Ooh, a first aid spray. Fudge, why did I put that down? Whatever, I'll just get this first aid spray in its place. Um. Hold up, where is he talk? Is he gonna pick up something? Yeah, you do not want to get close to Derek C. Simmons. You don't. He's way too da- Let me get behind this pillar. He's way too dangerous. Yeah. That's the spot you want to be shooting. Those eyes. You want to be shooting that spot. He's getting a little too close for my comfort. I'm going to stay behind this pillar. He's a lot He's a lot more maneuverable Than his size lets on Do not be fooled Got him Oh you move Ugh, God dang it See, he's a lot harder to knock down. I mean, it's a lot harder to make him transform back to normal than it looks. Very difficult, too. There we go. As you can see, though, these fights are really long. Pretty enjoyable, though. I'd rather get stunned like that. I'd rather get some knockback than have to sit there and just listen and him roar and me not being able to move or do anything. Now, take note. You can be killed relatively easily. Yeah, I'm trying to destroy him because Ada's up there shooting in her helicopter and for Ada players, this is a very fun experience because, I mean, for people playing on Ada's campaign, this is a very fun experience because you just get to shoot the crap out of them. Yeah, like I said before, instant death if you get caught by some of the stuff, some of the stuff like that. Oh, man. I don't have a lot of sniper bullets left. I think I'm gonna save them. Nope. Uh oh. Not good. He's coming a little too close for my liking. Goodness, 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 goodness. Pick up my ammo. Wow. Let me just. Come on, Ada, you can do it. Ugh, all this roaring. It's so hard to get him to stop. No, 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 no. Jeez, 
goodness. Really doing my best here not to get close to this guy. Yes, get rid of it. <laughs> nice, Helena. Really nice. Gotta cut the clip so I can get more room on camera.